Oh my. Oh my. Well, with more than 4,000 children in the foster care system, the need for foster families in North Carolina right now is greater than ever. So in today's Forever Family, Eric Thomas talks to a child advocate about her journey as a foster home. At some point along the way, we were looking to adopt. And I'll tell you, it was for purely selfish reasons. We had two little boys and we wanted a little girl. Heather and her husband, Scott, joined Seven Homes training and came to an unexpected realization. Those eight weeks had taught us a lot about foster care. We had no idea. We didn't realize the need. And up until this point, I had really been only been thinking about ourselves. And my husband said, I think we're supposed to do foster care. And I remember saying, I do too. And it was not an excitement in that realization because we knew how hard it was gonna be. And so their foster journey began. They welcomed children temporarily, sometimes even for just a couple of nights. And learned so much about God, ourselves, and these kids. And continued to give their love and care unconditionally. And unconditional means you expect nothing in return. There is no guarantee. You can do all the right things and you're still not guaranteed a great outcome. Every time someone came to them in need, they were worth taking that chance. We realized that we may be that one child's only hope. It only takes one caring adult to completely change the trajectory of their life. After so many years of caring for children, Heather says that the rewards not only outweigh the sacrifice, but also that she still feels connected to every single child that she has fostered. They still are part of my life. They still tug at a piece of my heart. That is something that time and space can never take away. And to me, that's the benefit of loving another person expecting nothing in return. Well, you can learn more about adopting by contacting Forever Family in partnerships with Seven Homes Family Foster Care. Just visit foreverfamily.org.